Lancashire were made to wait again for their promotion party after being asked to follow on on the penultimate day of their LV County Championship match with Kent in Canterbury. The visitors needing to get to 350 in 110 overs overall to return to Division 1 began the third morning on 25 without loss in reply to Kent's 570 for 8 declared and 17 more runs were added to that before Darren Stevens found the edge of Hasib Hamid's bat to have him held in the slips by James Treadwell for 14. Three balls later and Alvaro Peterson was gone for a duck. LBW the decision as the batsman was late on his shot. Aswell Prince is not ending this season as he started it and he was out for 17 at 76 for three, nicking a ball close to his body from Matt Hun behind. Lancashire then needed the two players who were at the crease together in Taunton when the Red Rose County won the title in 2011 to steer the ship in the right direction and they were able to add 21 more runs for the fourth wicket but before three figures were on the board Brown who'd made a pleasing 53 edged a drive off Matt Coles to Ben Harmison who held on at the second attempt. The visitors then found themselves on 101 for 5 when Alex Davis was bowled by Coles as he decided too late to remove his bat. None of this, of course, was in Lancashire's plans. A draw here on the last day will still see them win promotion, possibly on the same day as their nearest challengers, Surrey, who they play next. But for a while it looked as if they may even get the necessary runs to be celebrating by the end of this day. That was because Croft and Jordan Clark started to develop a handy partnership on a pitch on which Kent had made batting look rather easy as they amassed their massive first innings total. Both Croft and Clark were into the 40s, adding 91 runs for the sixth wicket. When the latter was out for 44, Callum Haggett having Clark caught by Treadwell. Croft passed a 50 off 108 balls and took his side one more point closer to promotion by bringing up his team's 200. But with a total on 227, Tom Bailey was the seventh man to fall as he was bowled through the gate by Treadwell for 18. The rest fell quickly. Glenn Chappell pulling Haggett out to Hun in the deep to go for eight. Simon Kerrigan glanced a ball from Hun too finely and into the gloves of Ryan Davis after spending 36 minutes over his two runs. And Lancashire were all out for 259 when Croft, who did well in making 85, gave Coles his 60th championship wicket of the summer as he was LBW. So the visitors were asked to follow on a massive 311 runs behind and their second innings began badly as Coles won another leg before with his second delivery to remove Brown for a duck. Peterson did avoid his pair in making 28 of a second wicket stand of 47 with Hamid. But to the very last ball of the day, the South African was beaten in the flight and bowled by Treadwell, who must after that be looking forward to the last day of this match. That will start with Lancashire in trouble on 47 for two, and that has them still 264 runs behind, needing to bat through the last three sessions to earn the draw and promotion.